Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day so far and welcome back to day five of Everyday October. So in today's video I have five lipsticks that I wanted to talk to you about. So these are my absolute favourite formulas of lipstick. I do also have a few extras of each one, just a few different colours that I wanted to talk about but I have five formulas of different lipsticks that are my absolute favourite for at this time of year. I'm going to swatch them all on the back of my hand and I'm going to put on each of these shades to show you how they look with a fairly neutral everyday sort of autumn look. I will link everything else that I'm wearing in the description down below but let's get started. I'm going to start with the ones that stain the least and work up to the most staining power of lipstick so that the colour doesn't like stay on the lips if that makes any sense. So starting with Revolution Pro, this is the Hydromat Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Sphinx and this is a beautiful deep dusky purple. It's such a beautiful interesting shade. I've never seen a lipstick this shade and this Hydromat formula from Revolution Pro is one of my all-time favourites. They have really, really great nudes in this um, formula that I love for the summer, but obviously this purpley shade, this deeper purpley shade, is perfect for autumn and I just absolutely adore this. I had actually misplaced this until today and I have been searching and searching and searching for it. I wanted, like I knew I wanted to make this video fairly early on in everyday October because lipstick for me is such a staple part of my autumnal makeup. I love a dark bold lip so obviously like I wanted to do this video fairly early on and I haven't seen this since last autumn. So I'm so excited to have this back in my collection. And please forgive me if the lip lines get horrendously wonky throughout this video. Um, obviously I'm just like quickly putting them on to show you the colour. But this is the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in Sphinx. Such a beautiful sort of neutral purple shade. I don't feel like this leans too purple where it's like completely out of the box like it is still very wearable such a beautiful shade one that's really really soft really hydrating as well which of course is important for this time of year your skin dries out your lips dry out in the colder weather and this one is beautiful but it is a matte so it will dry down and it does last really really well so in between each swatch i am going to be wiping off my lips with some micellar water and then just going over with my concealer brush just to really like blank everything out before moving on to the next one. The next one is another Revolution Pro but this is the Hydra Gloss. Again if you haven't tried this formula it is fantastic for at this time of year. This is such a beautiful bright red. Again a really interesting shade of red. It's not too bright, it's not too like in your face red again really really wearable almost looks like a stain but it has that glossy finish again another one that's really really comfortable and both of these revolution pro ones smell incredible <laughs> again this is another one that has a really great shade range of like nude shades one of my all-time favourites is a uh, Hydra Gloss in the shade Tainted. It's like a really nude, cool toned shade. If you're my sort of skin tone then that's definitely one that's worth looking up. But not for autumn, that's like a really nude, almost like your skin tone. Obviously this one is not, obviously this is a bright red. But these stay glossy, they stay really really hydrating, they feel lovely on the lips. They feel so hydrating and glossy but not sticky. If you have the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, these Hydra Glosses feel very very similar to that and these are slightly more affordable. I think these are £6 each. 
and this is in the shade Wrath. I don't know if I said that before. A beautiful, beautiful red. Then next up is one from L'Oreal. This is the Colorish Matte in 348 Brick Vintage. Now I had originally bought this, if you followed me in the summer, I was on the hunt for my perfect orange lipstick and I did find it, I will mention that a little bit later on, but online this looked like a bright orange it absolutely is not. It's not even, like I wouldn't even describe this as like an orange toned red. Like it is just a straight up classic red and obviously this is like the typical L'Oreal matte formula so it is super super matte but also very very comfortable and I will just swatch that on the lips. Like why this was listed online as an orange shade, I do not know because it is red. Like maybe leaning a little bit orange, but like it's not an orange lipstick, it's a red lipstick. But this is beautiful. If you haven't tried the um, Colorish Matte range, they all feel the same. They're all really comfortable. Although it's a matte lipstick, it doesn't feel drying, feels sort of just like nothing really feels almost a little bit like a lip balm i guess it doesn't feel drying don't think of this as like a dry matte sort of like liquid lipstick formula because it's absolutely not it's beautiful it's really soft on the lips almost has like an airbrushed finish really really soft really beautiful really comfortable the color payoff is fantastic it does wear off a little bit it's not the most long lasting neither of these two by the way not the most incredibly long lasting not like the next two that i'm going to mention but very very easy to reapply fades nicely and then you can reapply over the top and the l'oreal range they have loads of different shades of red this is just this is just the one that i got so next up we have this one, such a classic. This is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon, specifically the shade 50 Own Your Empire. This is the one that I'm going to be trying on today, a beautiful, really deep red. And this definitely has more of like a purpley tone. This one here definitely is like the deepest red so far, but not too orange, not too bright more of a neutral red shade so i'll pop this on i feel like the real selling point of these is like the packaging and how easy these are to apply so you don't need a lip liner with these the other ones i would maybe recommend a lip liner these ones you absolutely do not and i have a few other colors that i wanted to talk to you about as well so i have 45 Hustle in Heels, which is more of an orangey tone. Still very much a red, that one here. Still very much a red, but more orangey. So that's Hustle in Heels. And this one here is Own Your Empire. So they are still different. Like this one's brighter, this one's more neutral. I feel like Hustle in Heels has been one that I've reached for in the summer as like a bright red, whereas this is more of a deep vampire red. And then speaking of vampire, we're just going to go full like deep purple mode. This is 55 Make It Happen. And if you are in the market for like a deep sort of don't know like a merlot sort of shade that one is beautiful again this one is definitely a it's a different shade to own your empire definitely more purple definitely deeper but i feel like own your empire is more wearable for more people whereas this sort of purplier deeper shade can seem a little bit daunting so I do get that I love it it is it's a learning curve like getting used to wearing like these darker shades and now my lips really are starting to get sore but we're on to the last one now we're okay we're on to the last one is anybody surprised this is the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Matte Liquid Lipstick this is in the shade I am worth it 115 and again just the most beautiful red like straight up not too bright not too dark 
beautiful everyday red lipstick. For me, I reach for this one so, so often in autumn. I mean, I have reached for it like pretty much every single day for the last two months. <laughs> and again, I have three others, so four altogether, I have three others that I want to talk to you about as well, talk to you about these colours, but I'll apply this one, um, I am worth it. And this one, I feel, is definitely the easiest to apply, like the applicator, the tip of the applicator is so small that you can really like get into the lines of your lips. This colour will last all day, like I think if I tried to take that shade off my hand now it would already be stained. It's such an intense amount of pigment, lasts really well all day, lasts through eating, lasts through drinking, so so beautiful. So another red shade, this is more of like a deep red if you're wanting slightly brighter, slightly more orange toned then this one is beautiful. This is 113 I Don't. So this is one that I definitely wear a lot but it is slightly brighter so this is I Don't. And this is I Am Worth It. So, I mean, they look exactly the same there, don't they? I mean, in real life, I can see the difference. But on camera, they look exactly the same. No, they look a little bit different there. So, I Don't and I Am Worth It. I Am Worth It is just a little bit deeper, a little bit warmer. Whereas I Don't is a little bit brighter, a little bit more orange. It's subtle. <laughs> I mean, some people would say that all of these shades on my hands are exactly the same. I would argue no. Then the one that I found in the summer that is my perfect orange lipstick for the summer, but also I'm going to be wearing it so much in autumn and winter as well. This is 112 I Achieve. And I'm just so happy that this is in my collection. It's such an unusual shade to have like a bright, orange but that actually feels wearable like this doesn't feel so out of like so completely orange that it's not wearable like trust me I tested some that were straight up like clown orange this is a beautiful almost just slightly burnt orange so that it's still neutral enough to be wearable so beautiful on my skin tone i think would also look beautiful on deeper skin tones as like a really intense orange like bite of color so so pretty and then the very last one that i wanted to talk about is the most vampy dark purple lip that i have in my collection i want to do a whole look around this lipstick with like nothing else like completely flawless skin and then just this lipstick i think it would be beautiful so let me know if you want to see that this is in the shade 103 i enjoy and this is almost like a brownie toned purple again a really interesting unique shade so that's that one there i enjoy almost the same sort of tone but darker than that first revolution pro one that we swatched i can definitely see the similarities between them but this dark vampy color is so beautiful for autumn like i say just that with like nothing else the tiniest little slick of mascara really flawless skin what a vibe so we've ended up with 10 <laughs> five formulas but ten colours. I hope that's okay. <laughs> so they are the ones that I wanted to talk about today. I'm going to leave this one on just so that I don't have to instantly take it off and flare up my lips again but let me know which of these is your favourite. Let me know if you have any others that you think I need to pick up because obviously I don't have enough like dark red shades here. I might need a few more just to see me through the season you know but let me know what your favorites are if you want to see more from me i am uploading a new video every single day in october so you can subscribe down below and you'll get a little notification every time i post one of those i have loads of things planned testing videos creating different autumnal looks playing with loads of different color i love color i love eyeshadow and I love lipstick so if you want to see anything then do leave me a comment down below and I will try and fit it into this hectic month that I'm having but until next time thank you so much for watching bye